Welcome to the Ultimate Game Realm. This is Dixon logging on. In this video, we're going to take a look at the remastered version of the first Wasteland game. But for those of you who haven't seen my original retrospective on the first Wasteland game, then I probably would recommend you check that one out first. It's about 20 minutes long. It's pretty much the history of the first Wasteland game. I'll try to leave a link below. Anyway, this remastered version of the first Wasteland game was released in 2020, about two years ago. This is mainly an update about on how that version is compared to the original one. So this one's about 10 minutes long. So please do enjoy. In 1988, a computer role-playing game pioneered the post-apocalyptic survival game series for years to come. Wasteland. Wasteland was a game that inspired the 1997 point-and-click RPG game, Fallout, which became a successful franchise to this day. In 2013, the 1988 Wasteland game was re-released as digital distribution for Steam and Good Old Games, with updated features for modern operating systems, titled as Wasteland 1, the original classic. In 2014, a long-awaited sequel to the first Wasteland game was finally released on PC after a successful crowdfunding campaign, Wasteland 2, which eventually had a Director's Cut version. From there on, Wasteland 2 was released on consoles. The first Wasteland game inspired Fallout, and Fallout 2 inspired Wasteland 2. In 2020, in August of 2020, Wasteland 3 was released. Now going back earlier in 2020, in February of 2020, a remastered version of the first Wasteland game was digitally released for PC and Xbox One. And this episode is mainly an update on the first Wasteland game project that I did five years earlier for the purpose of the remastered game that was released about two years ago, titled as Wasteland Remastered. Wasteland Remastered was digitally released on February 25th in 2020 for the PC and Xbox One console, developed by NXile Entertainment with the help of another development team from Australia, Chrome Studios. How is the remastered game of the Wasteland? Well, first after you launch the game, instead of getting the info of the story and text under the title menu, like from the original game, in the remastered game, you get an interesting video intro with story text in the background. I thought that was pretty cool. 
don't you think? But how is the remastered gameplay compared to the original gameplay? Well, the customizable characters and styles haven't changed. The story is still the same, of course. But the graphical overhaul was kind of nice. But the characters are more likely pieces on a board game when moving them and all members of your team are still in one spot. Unless if you split them up. Battling your hostiles is most likely the same. The soundtrack hasn't changed, which is awesome. But there's also another big change from the original. It's that you have the instructions, the survival guide, and the paragraphs in the game. Along with remembering passwords and number combinations once you find them. And at times they added cutscenes from the paragraphs. Sometimes they're audio only and sometimes they're audio with still images that look more like art and kind of unappealing to watch, but still interesting. The only three things they changed or added in the remastered game is better options, the graphical overhaul, and all the guides and passwords into the game. Instead of having the stuff on hand, like reading the guides or writing the passwords or number combinations down, you can actually read all that stuff inside of the game. But in a way, I do like the old school idea of it though. But it's also awesome they put it all the stuff in the game in this version though. Now I got another question. Why do they call this Wasteland version Wasteland Remastered? I mean with the overhaul mod, which is nice and all, but more likely I'd call it an overhaul remake instead of a remaster. However, the 2013 digital release was more of a remaster to the 1988 game. But this 2020 re Wasteland Remaster is more likely a remake. Now at a price point of $20 or $15, I would not recommend it for either price. I mean it's recommendable if it's on sale. I mean the remaster game, more likely it's a remake, I still think it's good and it still has replay value. But if I want to play the first game more, then I played the 2013 updated version of the original Wasteland and played the old school way from there. That's what I call a true remaster. And that's the real way of playing the first Wasteland game. Unless if you have an older computer in the original copy, you can play it on that hardware as well too. However, since we're on the topic of remaster or remake or reboot, it would have been more awesome if NXIL Entertainment remade the first game with the same style as the Along the Way to Wasteland 2 sequel, a point and click adventure style. That would have been a better idea. But of course, during the last few years, they were more focused on the third installment, which explains why Wasteland Remastered is what it is. And the only way I would recommend the remastered game is when it's on sale for like under five bucks. On second thought, I would say to hell with the remastered game and stick to the original. The original 1988 box game or 2013 digital re-release game. But that's just me personally. And that's all there is to it. And this is Dixon of the Ultimate Game Realm logging off.